Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in today. I'm gonna cut some locusts today, possibly my new favorite firewood. We're gonna load it up in the Defender. We're gonna get on out of here. This is what I'm working with today. I've got this locust tree falling down. Looks like it was uprooted. I wanna get it cut up into firewood. I'm gonna use my 462. Brought the 500 too. Start with 462, see how it goes. I think this should fill up my trailer, maybe my bed too. Let's get after it, start cutting. So this is reason 5,672, why you always bring two saws to the woods. So I got my first one stuck, it closed pretty quick, couldn't get it out. I'm gonna take my other saw and get it out and we're gonna keep cutting. So I got that cut up. I left the end where it broke. Uh, it's broken and it's just full of like scraps and dirt and stuff. So it's not that great anyways. And I don't really want to dole up a chain. So I think I'm going to get the buggy backed up in here. And I hear choo-choo. And load this stuff up. I think I'll uh, probably split a little bit by hand. Just have them. Some of the pieces make them easier to get in the buggy. But what I like to do is I got the buggy out here on the main trail i will unattach the cart because it's light and i'll push it all the way back up in here where i want it to be and then i'll back the buggy in here that way i don't have to fight it you know backing up a small trailer real life choo-choo up there big big choo-choo locomotive cousin So now I've got the tailgate off, it's easy to get this stuff in. What I like to do now is I get a picaroon in each hand and I'll bring it all to the trailer, make a little pile and then I'll throw it all in by hand. All the big stuff that's down there, I will probably take my trusty old Fiskars, split it up, just half it, make it a lot lighter to get in. And then I'll drag it down here and do the same thing. So let's do that right now.
it's cleaned up. There's a few big pieces left on the end. I ain't got room for them, that's okay. Trailer is nice and full. It's not gonna get any more full. I got it strapped. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. There is a, another branch over there. My bed's still empty. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the branch up too, throw it in the bed. We're gonna get out of here. Just wait till you see me going up the hill. It's a lot better than it used to be. Hopefully there's no wood spilled. Bed's full, we're set. Then it well, bed's not full. It's clearly not full, guys. Okay, the bottom's full. I got that branch in there. Feel good about it. It's time to get up the hill and get out of here. So the work down low is complete. I got the work done. The real work is getting up this hill, getting out of these bottoms. This whole workhorse, it's gonna get it done. We'll show you right now. So, as you saw, she's a workhorse. Plowed right up that hill. And I know you might be thinking that hill is not very steep. It's not terribly steep. It's not that bad. It is kind of steep, but when you're pulling a load, it's pretty steep. I almost found that sometimes when my bed is more full, it puts a lot more weight on the rear end. And uh, I had it full the other day, like heaped full. And it uh, went up that hill and you could just feel the tires just biting. Like uh, it, there was hardly any spin, it just dug in and went up. That load, there's a little bit of spinning towards the end, but it didn't leave ruts or anything. It's pretty good. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a good one. Everything worked great today, pleased. No breakdowns, I didn't die today. It's a great day, got some wood. We'll see you next time. You guys have a great rest of your day.